Okay. To all my fans, this is for you, and you know who you are, so don't ask me to elaborate on exactly what, who, who I'm talking about, who I'm talking to, because I always talk to you, all of you, and you know that I do, and so many things that we say, and you call me names, and arrogant, and liar, and son of a bitch, and it's all true, I confess. And I twist and turn and telling him this and telling him that changes it every day. Boom, boom, boom. Says it doesn't matter. Right? Yeah, like my songs and all the different words and everything. Well, finally, after so many years, we are going to reveal yet another angle portion of this secret that I have been telling you all along and you have refused to listen and believe but believe you will because you shall know that there is a purpose and a reason for you watching me and knowing everything that I'm doing and the good, the bad, and the ugly and all that but it isn't just for your pleasure for it says Hosea chapter 2 verse 6 my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge because you have rejected knowledge I also will reject you because you have forgotten the law of your God I will also forget your children okay we have more I'm going to give you the biblical accounting for everything about who I am what I am, that I've been telling you all along, and I'm giving you scriptural, biblical, <clears throat> absolute proof that you have been unable yet to consume and eat, and you may still be unable to do it even after this, but you never thought that I would take it in this direction, perhaps, and offer it through the biblical scriptures but I don't know why you wouldn't assume that I would at some point. You know who I work for, and you know who you do. So come on, and you accuse me of breaking all the rules and getting away with it, and look at what he's doing, and yeah. And then I laugh at your face, I guess. And so it's true, I suppose, and you all like point your fingers and accusations, but no. I keep telling you, it's not the way you want it to be, and I'm gonna prove it to you. It's right here in the scriptures. <clears throat> and I have lots of them and I have gone and searched through and you people are we I'm going to show you the judgment of, of your ways and in Romans chapter 2 verse 20 for since the creation of the world his invisible attributes <clears throat> are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, even His eternal power and Godhead, so that they were without excuse, that you were without excuse. Likewise also, the men leaving the natural use for women, burned with their lust for one another, men with men, committing what is shameful and receiving in themselves the penalty of their error. And even as they did not like to retain God in their knowledge, God gave them over to a debased mind to do those things which are not convenient, being filled with unrighteousness and sexual immorality, wickedness, covetousness, maliciousness, full of envy, murder, strife, deceit, evil mindedness. They are whisperers, backbiters, haters of God, violent, proud boasters, inventors of evil things, disobedient to parents, unconcerning, untrustworthy, unloving, unforgiving, unmerciful, who knowing the righteous judgment of God that those who practice such things are deserving of death. Not only do they sing, but also approve of those who practice them, and you shall burn in the pit so says the Lord but in accordance with your hardness and your impertinent heart you are treasuring up for yourself wrath in the day of wrath and re revelation of the righteous judgment of God we have to reveal all so that you will be absolutely clear and you will know 
at the day that it comes it's so much that you've laughed all along and put your finger in his face and my face and everything that you do to me it's being done to him because you know I represent him and Yahshua and yes and I don't care we don't care that you think I'm getting away with everything and you want to point your fingers it doesn't matter and I'm gonna show you in the scriptures why that I have a permission to do certain things and you don't and watch Romans chapter 4 verse 4 now to him who works the wages are not counted as grace but as debt but to him who does not work but believes on him who justifies the ungodly his faith is accounted for righteousness me blessed are those whose lawless deeds are forgiven and whose sins are covered the things that you think I'm getting away with yes but why Romans chapter 12 verse 29 for the gift the gift and the calling of God are irrevocable because I work for it I am prophesying to you that's what I'm doing using scripture but I've always been prophesying I am gift I have the gift that's what I do and that's why I'm here but you all have failed to see it and it doesn't matter if you still don't there is something that he wants to get done through me and this is all part of it so don't worry about it for God has committed them all to disobedience that he might have mercy on all that is us believers me and those gift get that are given that Romans chapter 16 verse 25 now to him who is able to establish you according to my gospel and the preaching of Jesus Christ according to the revelation of the mystery, keep secret since the world began, but now has been made manifest and by the prophetic scriptures has been known to all nations according to the commandment of the everlasting God for obedience. What else? Hmm. Corinthians chapter 6 verse 2. And if the world will be judged by you, are you unworthy to judge the smallest matters? Do you not know that we shall judge angels how much more things that pertain to this life? I've already told you, I was an angel from the very beginning and fell along with all my brothers and my big brother Lucifer that I continue to tell you. And don't you know we shall judge angels because now I'm a human and I have reversed into this situation to talk to my very own brothers, spawn and disobedient, cursed children that you are, that lack knowledge and we try to feed it to you because you have to know the penalty of your ways for Ephesians chapter 3 verse 8 for by grace you have been saved through faith and that not of yourselves it is the gift of God that I have unsealed on my forehead such is the reason why you will never ever be able to point a finger at accusation, look at what he's doing, getting high, jacking off, having sex, it doesn't matter for me. I know you hate me for it, but guess what? Look at the suffering that I have to go through and all your wicked deeds against me, and such is the case, I don't care. Because in Philippians chapter 4, verse 10, but I rejoice because though you, through you, though you surely did care, you, my Lord, but you lacked an opportunity. Now that I speak in regard to need, for I have learned in whatever state I am in to be contented. I know how to be abased, and I know how to be abound. Everywhere and in all things I have learned both to be full and to be hungry, both abound and to suffer in need. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Nevertheless, you have done well through the share of your redemption. Yes, Yes, now you're seeing maybe a little bit more the mystery unfolds. There's so many, so many different levels of it. We don't have to reveal them all. This is just another big one. This has been eight years we've been going on. We got more years to go. I'm not going to tell you how many more because I don't know particularly. But it won't be eight more, but it will be a few more probably years. I know for sure it'll be more than five years from now. 
At the very least, I have to you know because I have the ability. I told you that's what I do. I'm gifted. It says right in the scripture, those of us who are accounted for, sealed by God for the witness of that is what we are doing for this purpose. And therefore, that is what I'm going to give you more scriptural doctrine to prove to you that this is the reason why you keep saying I'm getting away with all these things because yes I am but nonetheless is it fair it doesn't matter what you think it only matters what the Lord thinks and I've already given you a few but I'm going to give you more because you disbelievers and idiots who have nothing in your brain scoff and mock the things that you don't understand well we're going to feed it to you no matter what whether you like it or not that's why you're watching nobody gives a fuck about the spectacle that you're viewing or you're promulgating because it don't matter anyway and let me finish more Thessalonians Chapter 2, verse 10, And with all unrighteousness, deception among those who perish, because they did not receive the love of the truth that I am giving them, that they might be saved as if they could, O oh, accursed children. And for this reason, God will send them a strong delusion that they will believe a lie. That's what I do. And they all may be counted truth, but had pleasure in unrighteousness. Thessalonians chapter 2 verse 10 through 13 there's more let's hear it babies Timothy chapter 1 verse 9 who has saved us and called us with the holy calling not according to our works but according to his own purpose and grace which has given us to the Lord Christ before time began before it began because I fell I already told you sealed for this purpose and such is what it is. Chapter 4, 10, 2 Timothy, verse 8. Finally, there is laid up for me a crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous of judge, will give to me on that day, and not to me only, because I have it through my work that I'm doing. Titus, chapter 1, two, verse 2. In hope of eternal life, which God, who cannot lie, promised before time began. Once again, that's in Titus. Okay, this is New Testament scripture. We do Old Testament later. Okay, watch. This is all because I first have to establish how it is that I'm able to do what I do ostensibly. And you all are so blind and you don't know what it's about. You're not yet convinced or, or clued in to what this whole purpose is. You think it's your purpose what you're doing. But no, sweetie. Wait, I am making you, you believe my lies. I vomit, you hear, and I twist, and you turn, because that's what I'm supposed to do, because you won't take the truth. Therefore, we're going to do this, and you can pretend that you're watching me secretly, or doing something to humiliate me. Well, guess what? I'm not humiliated, not at all. I can walk chest up, face forward. I know what I have, and I know my power, and I know my seal of approval, and therefore, whatever do I need? Let's listen to more scriptural authority on the reasons why it doesn't matter to me. And gonna give you more the reasons why, because you don't believe. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 13. And there is no creature hidden from his sight, his sight, but all things are naked and open to the eyes of him to whom we must give account. So what do you think? That you're shining a light on something that he doesn't know, motherfucker? He knows everything. Hebrews chapter 12, verse 25. Choosing rather to suffer affliction with the people of God than to enjoy the passing pleasures of sin. Esteeming the reproach of Christ greater riches than the treasures of Egypt, for he looked into the reward, for he looked into the reward with the seal. That is why. And the reward keeps me going, but we got more. My book, James, the brother of the Lord, and that's who I am, told you my other incarnation. Read my book, Redemption of a Fallen Archon. It's all out there. You can connect these dots, and I'm going to connect them for you. Right? More here. 
chap James chapter 3 verse 13 who is wise and understanding among you let him show by good conduct that his works are done in the meekness of wisdom but if you have bitter envy and self-seeking in your hearts do not boast and the lie against the truth the wisdom does not descend from above but is earthly sensual and demonic for where envy and self-seeking exist confusion and every evil thing are there James Chapter 5, verse 4. Adulterers and adulteresses, do you not know that friendship with the world is enmity to God? Whoever therefore wants to be a friend of this world makes himself an enemy to God. The spirit who dwells in us yearns jealously. God resists the proud but gives grace to the humble. Such is the case. Yes, are you getting it yet? But you don't think I'm humble, you think I'm an arrogant son of a bitch. Well, clearly you're wrong. It's a, just a delusion, a lie. Like I told you, it's right here in the book telling me what to do to you and you believing it all the same and eating it just like that. And you want to tell me that you're doing something to me? Don't worry about it. You should understand by now it doesn't affect me in any kind of way. Why would it? I don't lose anything. I'm gaining everything. You are doomed. Peter, and there is no hope, but this has to be revealed because he can't have guilt. That's the reason why he's doing it when he does what he does. And you got to hear it over and again so that when he does, he walks away. He won't hear anything. He doesn't have to look back. This is the way he always was. It's all in this book everywhere. He behaves the same way. God don't change. Psalms says it. He doesn't change. And he's just the same old maniac jealous and vengeful God that he always has been and he gonna do just like he always has with wrath and punishment and severe and then he's gonna walk away and not look damn all of them because he doesn't want the guilt to think about what he's done he knows that it's terrible and it's awful but that's what you're asking for first epistle epistle of Peter Chapter 2, verse 12. To them it was revealed that we're ministering the things which now have been reported to you through those who have preached the gospel of the Holy Spirit sent from heaven, things which angels desire to look into. Things that angels desire to look into. Hello. More. <laughs> You're going to love it. Peter, chapter 5, verse four, chapter 3, verse 14. But even if you should suffer for righteousness' sake, you are blessed and be not afraid of their threats or not troubled. Do I ever seem like I'm troubled? Don't I always say I have no fear? <laughs> I already know that. It's all here. But I'm just giving you proof. The lowdown of what you can't prove, you know, except from what I've been explaining all along. And now the book is going to reveal it because I'm sure you didn't know it was all in here. But we've only just started. There's a lot more. <laughs> 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 2. He who has suffered in the flesh has ceased from sin, that he no longer should live the rest of his time in the flesh for the lust of men, but for the will of God. For we have spent enough of our past lifetimes in doing, amen, the will of our Gentiles. We are walked in the lewdness of lust and drunkenness and revelries, drinking parties and abominable idolatries. <laughs> right here, and what do I always say? I'm 40 fucking years old in this lifetime. Do you think think there's an experience of sexual or otherwise that I haven't had. I have done every motherfucking thing and there it is. <laughs> Telling you what that's about and why I answer it like that and why you can't get it and I do it because I have to because here it is in the book already from time began. <laughs> Chapter 4, verse 6. For this reason the gospel was preached unto those who are dead. Who are dead, right? That they might be judged according to men in the flesh. You, but live according to God as in the Spirit. But in the end of all things at a hand, therefore the serious and watchful in your prayers. Because you won't judge. Do you get that? Only He does. Because I was dead and I am dead. But that's why I'm getting away with it. You don't get it yet. Peter, 19, but it isn't anything to get away with, I assure you. That is not pleasure. I, there is nothing in it. That's why you're watching me all the time and seeing how silly it looks and laughing. You should, because it's ridiculous. And I continue to do it, and partly it's because I'm doing it because I have to do that. Because this light upon me 
is showing you the ridiculousness of what it is. There's nothing at all different from what you witnessed me doing sexually than any other sexual situation that you may be in with other people, whether it be lots, whether it be one, whether it be man, whether it be one, doesn't matter. Because every single one of those experiences, no matter how you twist it, no matter what arrangement you take, it will come down to just the same old result that you watch every time, day out, day out, or oh, whatever you see it, of what I do. It's empty, it's, it's nothing, it's five minutes, 20 minutes of nothing. And it's totally absurd and ridiculous, and yeah, but we're going to tell you the reason why it continues. Okay, Peter, chapter 2, verse 19. And so we have a, the prophetic word confirmed, which you do well to heed as the light that shines in a dark place until the day dawns and the morning star rises in your hearts, knowing this first, that no prophecy of Scripture is by any private interpretation, for prophecy never come by the will of man, but by holy men of God. Thank you very much. Amen. Chapter 2, 2 Peter, verse 3, by covetous, they will exploit you, me, with deceptive words. For a long time their judgment has not been idle, and their destruction does not slumber. For if God did not spare the angels who sinned, but cast them down to hell, delivered them into chains of darkness to be reserved for judgment, and did not spare the ancient world, but saved Noah and, the, and then turned on the ungodly, and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes, condemned them to destruction, making them an example to those who afterward would live ungodly. Ew. <laughs> and you think you're going to get something? <laughs> oh, yeah, you're going to get something and it has to be revealed before it happens. No matter how it has to be done. Because you're tuning in and listening at all times, 24-7 with all that I do. And it's for whatever pleasure that you think that you're getting. We are able to get your ears and eyes to hear this at the same time because you're tuned in and you can't avoid it. You must have it because he won't feel guilt. You're accursed and you're doomed. And nobody is trying to save you. Nobody is trying to change you. Not me, not anybody. It's just what has to be done because he works that way. You're already fucked. So don't worry about it. It's finished for you, and you're just hearing this book tell you all about how and why. And what, and then you're going to put your finger and you're going to be angry at me because I'm getting away with it, but you don't know who I am, and you don't know what I've been through. Didn't it say in there my past lifetimes from what I have had to do through this, what I am reserved to do because of what I had done? You don't know my sufferings. Chapter 3, verse 3, 3, 2 Peter. Knowing this verse, that scoffers like you will come in the last days, that's what we're in, walking according to their own lust. Where is the promise of His coming? Jesus. For since the fathers have gone to sleep, all things continue as they were from the beginning of creation. That's what you say, scoffers. Yes? You, where is He? What is this promise of Jesus coming? We don't see nothing about it. Da -da 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 -da. I know that's what you continue to say and it says right here because we are he already knew that that's what would be done that you'd be doing this this is prophecy being revealed this is answers to your questions about what I'm doing and why you're watching because you can't understand and you won't understand <clears throat> um, Um, anyway, and I'm going to look for some more to see if I can find some more. Let's find some more scripture. Um, because we got to prove it. I told you I picked apart this book eight years ago. It took me three fucking years. And that is how we, you know, I know these things and I'm trying to remember and search the right places and see if I, and I know that I haven't even found all of them, but I must have found the most relevant ones. Um, 
And how about Job chapter 19, verse 25? For I know that my Redeemer lives, and he shall stand at last on the earth. And after my skin is destroyed, this I know, that my flesh I shall see God, for whom I shall see for myself, and in my eyes shall behold, and not another, how my heart yearns within me. If you should say, how shall we persecute him? Since the root of the matter is found in me, be afraid of the sword for yourselves. The wrath brings the punishment of the sword, that you may know there is judgment because of what you do all the time to me. It isn't that me is the problem. It's what you do to me, you're doing to him, and he don't like it. And that is why this isn't about getting you changed or getting you saved or trying to change your mind. No, sweetie, get it right. This is just so that you are clearly aware for his conscious must be clean. He's just like we are, but powerful beyond your comprehension, but he has the same emotional capacity as we do. If you don't like guilt, then neither does he, and he has to have a clean conscience, even for you, because that is what he is going to do, and judgment is upon your heads, but you don't care, but it isn't to change you. Understand, it's just that it has to be put out there. And into you, this particular audience, my audience, and don't ask me to elaborate, elaborate on who exactly they are in total because I couldn't know anyways the, that how many are, this is the extended family members of my fallen brother's progeny and my fallen brothers themselves who I am speaking to and only them. That is what I'm here for and who I'm here for. My purpose only really involves you all. That's because I came from you. Because you don't believe, but in putting it here to show you this, and I have more, but I'm going to have to do it later, from the Old Testament 3,000 fucking years ago to prove to you everything that's going on right now in the world around you, if you could even care to pay attention, is not at all any kind of accident. This is already been pre-established in this book from the beginning of time the father creator knew all of this and yeah it's amazing unbelievable huh that to know that future to be able to prophesy and this information to the prophets and then watch it occur throughout history oh my god and you're still gonna scoff it's too late for you anyway, but you're gonna vomit if you haven't because choke on it. You better get it right. You can't possibly tell me that this book is bullshit. You can't. A 30 fucking percent. What, first of all, what I had just told you, all that I just told you, you can clearly see how that connects and why it's all the answers to your questions about this spectacle and what we're doing. And then the Old Testament, which I haven't given you yet, but I will. That is um, 3,000 years ago being predicted of events that are occurring right now through the prophets from the Father Creator. And one might ask himself, well, if he knows all this future stuff already, then that means, what does that mean for free will? How is it possible that we even have free will and then if it's already been prearranged and established, then we don't have any choice? It isn't entirely the case that that's the case. Free will is involved. The reason that these events are so, he's able to predict them, and I haven't given them to you yet, the Old Testament, but I will, that are occurring currently right now in the last days, that's what we're in, and this is how we can prove it, and this is how we can know that this we are definitely in. Don't worry about asking the question and looking to Nostradamus or anything else, because this book is filled with all kind of information, and I'm going to show you that it is not even an instant. This is for sure the last generation, and I'm telling you, you should take it from me. By now, you should already know some of my power and ability. I know you don't want to acknowledge it, but there's no denying the eight fucking years of this slot onslaught that you likely, most of you, are unaware of the events from eight years ago or even four years ago because you're new to this uh, game, and the reason is because you're 
fucking leader, my brother, who I love, but just, he just is completely insane and uh, unbelievably lost his mind and continues with his bullshit and won't stop. But anyways, you want to believe him and he's only pulled you into the game because he won't tell you about the events from eight years ago because why? Because it would embarrass him. It's worse than what's going on right now, meaning that he's impotent to even touch me. He has no power to do anything to shut me up, to stop me, to get me out, whatever. This is all he wants to do. I don't hate him. I still love him. I don't care. I understand where he's coming from. He is determined to get what he has to get done, and I know what he's doing. I understand his motives, and it's not necessarily evil and bad. I don't say that because I, I, I do give him respect for at least sticking to his fucking guns. I guess. That's for sure. That's a noble quality. However, it's unbelievably insane. But anyway, if I were in his position, I would try to do this too. But it's a futile effort is all I'm saying. And the reason why I can be so nonchalant and not worry about it, like the scripture said, I'm not threatened. It doesn't matter. And I always say that. And there it is right in the book. I read it to you because I already know that I can't be touched and nothing can happen to me in that way. We can have events. Yes, we will have different uh, continuing uh, things that will be going on that will be shocking and that I won't know and that will... Yes, those games will be played, but that's nothing. That's just the dance. The only thing that matters and all he wants to do is to cut me out, shut me down and out of here just dead, dead. But of course that's not possible. So he's bananas and he'll do anything to sh shut me up. And, and that is why you don't know about those events from years ago because it would embarrass you. They've already done this. The assassination attempts failed, every one of them. Lock, trying to lock me up, eight different arrests, popped out, every charge is dismissed, the unbelievably, just miracles. They cannot, they're baffled, so they stop doing that. Then they move to the next project. Look, I've told you, they won't let you know that because it makes them look dumb and nobody does that to my brother and they never ever have. He is seeing this is going nuts in his brain because he has a lot of power and authority on this fucking planet and damn it, I understand his position. If I were in his position, I would be nuts too because nobody can usurp the authority that he has already and that's what I'm doing just by being here and opening my mouth. It's enraging him because he can't do anything about it except try to fight me with these stupid games that don't go anywhere and still makes him even crazier because it's not doing anything and he just is out of his mind. I don't care if he tells you that he's, oh, this is successful and ha ha isn't it fun and look at what we're doing, oh, it's great, blah, 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 and oh, wonderful secret, Ooh, yeah, don't worry about it. You don't know what he's like in private, I do. Just get it. He's nuts and he ain't happy happy about nothing. It's not even, it's not supposed to be for popcorn entertainment and that is not at all what he wants. It's just the only thing that he can do. He's still crazy and nuts over the fact that he wants to squish it. That's what he has to do because his, well, it's what he wants to do, not that he has to. There's no real threat or danger, but he feels that there is because of me being here and you should get it. This is more confirmation of who I say that I am. His fallen brother, who we all fell together, one of the original rebel, rebel angels, my book explains it all. This book is explaining more and still you ask questions. I'm gonna maintain the same because the truth never changes, only lies, lies do. That's why I twist and turn and change in it every day. Boom, 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 says it doesn't matter, right? Don't I do that? And then you believe it again because that's what I do. I am the believer. Believe, believe, I make you believe anything at all. You believe I'm arrogant, I'm this, I'm that, and the other, and an asshole, and on it. Yeah. yeah, I know, because I make you think that. And of course, I want you to, because I don't have any need for you to like me. It's not for that. If you did, you wouldn't be involved in this process. You wouldn't be gathering around to spectate on whatever I'm doing all the time in secret. It wouldn't be something that you would want to do if you liked me. We have to establish some enmity between us and make this more and more and more so that you hate, hate more me because it's the only way to get your ears and eyes on me. 
Get it? Get it. You think that you're tricking me, motherfucker? Get a fucking clue. Go ask your leader. He won't tell you. He knows who the fuck I am. I am his fucking brother. And honey, there ain't nobody better than me except him. He is the only one that can do it better than I can. Believe me, sweetie. And that's why he's bananas, because he goddamn well knows it. And you should too, because I continue to do it twisting and turning. But you can find the truth if you just... Pick it to pieces, but it doesn't matter. Again, I reiterate, it isn't because nobody's trying to change you, okay? And I'm not the one to ask anyway. I don't know what you have to do, so if you have this need to seek out some kind of, you know, you're scared or something, then go talk to somebody else. I don't know who you talk to. This isn't my job, and it ain't nothing that I'm supposed to be doing. I just do this. So, I'm sorry, and I don't hate anybody. I really don't. And I'm nothing at all of what you think that I am that is just an act because I am making you believe this and all the other things that I make you believe and make you watch and make you see and pull your attention because that is what needs to be done and I have to do it. And it's not necessarily fun. Not at all. I suffer for all of this. You know goddamn well that I do because not in the way that you think I'm suffering. No, not that. But in just a general sense, it's all that it is, you know? So, another reason why, partly, this book is telling you how and why I get away with, or it seems like I'm getting away with this and that, and breaking all the rules, and okay, you're right, and who knows what all the rules are, do you? We're trying to establish that you don't know nothing about truth because we continue to try to tell you any truth and you reject it. And because of that, we give you twisting lies and more delusions so that you'll believe the lies. That's what it just said and that's what I do. So don't tell me that you know that I'm breaking all the rules. You don't know the goddamn rules, do you? You don't know any truth, you don't want any truth and you vomit on it. So therefore, shut your fucking mouth and go tell somebody else who cares and that's why you keep shouting, look at me, and nobody gives a fuck. Nobody's ever gonna do a thing, I'm still protected, and yet nothing can happen to me, and my brother's nuts. He can't fucking believe it, thinking that he'll feed me more. He'll make it, oh, he's gonna break more rules, and maybe nothing occurs, just completely nothing. It's absolutely un nothing. And he's just out of his mind, he doesn't get it. Because he thinks he knows the rules, and motherfucker, he can't know the rules either because he believes his own shit. How fucking real could that be? The delusions that he's under, his own self-delusion, is you're gonna tell me, he's gonna tell me that he knows the rules? Give me a break. If he could, he can't tell the truth if he had to. He's completely pathological. I don't say he's evil, he's sick, he's ill. <laughs> he needs fucking help to tell the fucking truth because he doesn't know how and it's like ridiculous at this point and it's just become who he is but anyway it's not about him particularly it's about you people okay really he just happens to be your leader and uh, and the one that's making it all occur and making your attention come to me and he's the irrelevant to me because I know him and I don't know any of you but really this is for you all whoever and all you are and you know who you are it's only for you all of it so not him um he has you know all I can say is I love him and I always will and I would, I, I've already stated my feelings a thousand times on what I feel about him and what I think he needs to do, but he ain't never going to listen to me anyway, and I don't want to be presumptuous to tell him anything that he should do because that's, I don't want to do that to him. It's already making him crazy that I'm here just to talk. So I'm not going to make him think that I'm trying to tell him to do something because I know that I cannot make him do anything and I never will. But I do love him and I think that he should, if he could, I don't know and see he knows the answer but I don't, he won't talk, that's the point. So if I don't know something about this then he's just going to have to fill me in or he won't. I don't, I'm never going to get the information I guess but in my heart I feel that he can go. He must go to the Father. He cannot go anywhere else. Of course, he cannot talk to Jesus. That's out of the question. And plus, he's terrified of Jesus anyway. Doesn't make any sense. He could care less about his Father. <laughs> but Jesus? Oh, terrified. <laughs>
I don't know, it's real weird. But yeah, <laughs> he just fuck off dad, but anyway, Jesus, he's scared. Well, he's gotta go to his father and just have a chit chat. And I'm sure as brilliant as he is, and he is just like I am, but even better, he could talk his way out of this whole fucking mess. And that is just my feeling. But he's just doing this, I don't know. But I can't be worried and care anymore because I used to do that all the time and it burned me out. I, it's all my energy is going to that. And it's, it does, but and, and I, I can't do it. He knows what I feel and he doesn't care and he doesn't want anything from me anyways. And I know that, but it is coming from a place of love when I say those things. But if he knows something different, like that's not an option or something, then I don't know that. And I'm just not aware. And if that's the case, then, um, I don't know, I can't say or do anything. Obviously, I don't have power, right, people? That kind of power. I have power over your belief systems because you give it to me, and I pull you in just like I do, and you think the vomit, and more, 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 more. And that's what you're supposed to do. Shine it on and keep it up. And I've just told you why and what's happening on. But the reason I made mention of for him, because this is for you, not him, but particularly about what he could do in my heart that I thought, is because if he were to do something like that and work things out, I said, whatever he has to do to make it work, <laughs> I have no idea, but there are. Look, he knows as well as I know what our father told him when we all fell and when this all began, before any kind of humanity ever started on this planet, before it was the planet, okay? So don't even worry about it. Yes, this information was already conveyed to him. It's not in this book, but we know this information because we were there. And Raphael and then the father told him and all of us very specific things that he was demanding for certain things to be done. He knows what they are. That's what I'm talking about. And so when I say he could work things out, if that's possible, he knows what that means. Those those particular uh, I, things that our father mandated had to be done in order for him to accept certain, certain situation to become. This was, of course, before human beings came into the picture. That changed everything, and this is why the whole drama exists, obviously. But nonetheless, he reiterated those things after human beings came in. So I'm told, of course, I was already gone by then. But look, you're trying to establish information throughout billions of years, 9 billion years on the other planet, 4.7 billion years here. Human beings have only been around for 200,000 years since he cooked it up in the laboratory. <laughs> and our father didn't even intervene into this as a, a drama at all until approximately 6.8 thousand years ago, which would be about 4.5 thousand BCE, according to this book, and from what I am pretty sure is accurate, this is the time period when these events start here. So don't ask me if Adam and Eve is really literally true or Noah's Ark and this and that because I've already stated my feelings and opinions on that stuff but I am not the authority and I won't speak on it anymore because I'm, I, I don't have to know that information. It doesn't apply to me. It doesn't matter to me in any case. But I don't want to give information out that matters to other people. But Adam and Eve and Noah, those, both of those stories are incredibly important and there's all kinds of important shit in those stories, whether they be real or not. They don't have to be literally true and I don't believe that they are, but <laughs> I don't want to say those things. It's just my personal belief. But anyways, the story all the same illustrates and sets up a stage for the events that are taking place and that stuff is real because it applies to everything. So. <clears throat> You have to take it apart if you want to know these answers. But we're in the last days and that's why these events are going on. This isn't the only one. There are others around the world. Not like me though, because we are a special family. We are family. I got all my sisters in me. <laughs> my sisters and brothers and my extended family, right? 
and they just don't love me or know it yet. But it's okay, I'm, a, I'm the big brother, one of the big brothers to all of you. Only you never knew that, you know, your uncle basically. <laughs> and um, we're not trying to, I'm not trying to get you to like me, it's not a, a popularity contest, it's all okay. <clears throat> it, we've already established and achieved and are achieving the stated end because your attention, your interest, and your time, and your ears and eyes are tuned and we need that to continue. That's what he wants. I can only speak for that and I do what he wants because I get all of the way with all this shit, yes, and all these things are covered. <laughs> And it's not anything, and in my opinion, that I want to do anyway, such as uh, another um, verse that I wanted to share with you, and let me see if I can find it. Uh, um, okay, this was in... I have to find oh, Corinthians. Hold on, this is important because of oh, Galatians. Hold on, I found it. Um, you'll like this. It's another answer to this question. For the flesh lusts, uh, this is Galatians chapter 5 verse 17, for the flesh lusts against the spirit, the spirit against the flesh, and these are contrary to one another, so that you do not do the things that you wish. But if you are to be led by the spirit, you are not under the law. I'm not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are evident, which are adultery, fornication, uncleanliness, lewdness, a sorcery, hatred, contentiousness, jealousness, outburst, wrath, selfishness, ambitiousness, disintentious heresies, every envy, murder, drunkenness, revelry, sexual immorality, likewise of which I tell you beforehand, just as I am told <clears throat> you in the time past, that those who practice such things will not inherit the kingdom of God, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, and peace, and such is no...